appreciate God for restoring. Let me assist her. Hallelujah. She said that prior to the crusade, the senior pastor's uh, crusade, she said that um, she was trusting God for the healing of her mother. She said she trusted God that the crusade will not pass without her mother being healed. Hallelujah. But in the course of the crusade, nothing happened. Even after the crusade, nothing still happened. She said that at the time she was left so depressed, she lost joy to continue with God. Hallelujah. She said the depression continued not until last Sunday. Last Sunday. She said last Sunday she was here in the church. Then a word dropped from our pastor in the house. Said, that word dropped and the word dissolved the depression. She said the Lord has restored her joy, the Christian joy, and they took up with it. The mommy's health is now coming up. It's now appreciating. Put she your hands together to for Jesus. Congratulations, congratulations. My name is Mrs. Mary Obi Wenita. I come to thank God for the life in the life of the living. And again, to thank God for what he did in my life since I was born. I haven't seen it in this month. It's a forever month to me. Daddy started with, with me on that first day. And since then, I have, God has been favoring me. Favoring me left and right. Left and right. Even she today, said since this month, Daddy started at the beginning of this month, Daddy in the house offered her a gift. She said the gift ushered in all that tremendous gift. Or gave her a gift. <laughs> <laughs> okay, gave her a gift. And the gift ushered many other tremendous gifts. Even things she never expected. She said she has never seen this kind of moon before since her life. She has come to return all the glory to God. Again, she's also appreciating God for, for embarking on a trip to Anambra and she's back safely. To God be the glory. Congratulations, Mama. Congratulations. What I was looking for since four years ago, God gave it to me yesterday. I'm going to thank God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Praise God. I think this is a prophecy for somebody here. What you have been looking for for long has just been released unto you today. Has just been released unto you today. Has just been released unto you today. By this testimony, has just been released unto you today. In the name of Jesus, you shall share your own testimony also. In the name of Jesus, put your wonderful hands together for Jesus. Church, praise the Lord. My name is Brochika Agu. I want to appreciate God first and foremost for His help over my life and family. God has been faithful for us in all this season. I say may his name be praised in Jesus' name. And secondly, I want to appreciate God for wonderful deliverance he granted to me on Friday. On Friday, normally I always say, whenever I'm on evangelism, I always tell people I can't be stranded. That has been my word. And I never knew heaven was taking record of it. On Friday, I saw the proof of that statement. On Friday, I got to work, loaded something going to Nsoka. I never knew there was first casting. That all police stations we had to close that day. So I took off from where I normally stay at Timba, then on my way to Nsoka. When I passed all the police stations where I was supposed to fill my tank to embark on the journey. Passed last bus stop, I said maybe it's because there was rumor there's going to be sit at home. Then I continued the journey, getting to Niki Road. All the filling stations there, all of them we are closed. Get into the last one. I was confused. I say, ha, what is happening? The fuel in the vehicle cannot take me to where I'm going to. And it cannot even take me back to where I'm coming from. I was stranded. So I stopped at the front of that last filling station. And I was just thinking, oh, what do I do now? How do I continue the journey? And how do I go back? I was stranded. So and vehicles were just passing. Suddenly, a bus was coming. And the Spirit of God ministered to me, stop that bus. So I came down from my vehicle, stopped the vehicle, the, the bus stopped. I went to the man and asked him, sorry, sir, are you coming from Ugogo? Just to know if there is anyone standing at the front. Yes, absolutely. So when the man came, when I asked him, he said, no, he's just coming out from his house. I, I said, I asked the man, he said, there is nowhere they are selling for today, that the police stations are on strike. And as I'm here now, I'm stranded. 
the fuel in my vehicle cannot take me to where I'm going, and it cannot even take me back to where I'm coming from. So as I'm standing here now, I'm stranded. The next thing I heard is, let me give you fuel. I was like, huh? I, I, I behaved as if I didn't hear what he said. He said, let me give you fuel. That must be an angel. I Go said, ahead. I said, okay. He came down from his chair, went to the booth, opened the booth, and brought out 10 liters of fuel. <laughs> Gave to me. I said, I should give him 3,000. He said, I'll give you 2,5. He said, okay, I should bring it. I gave him 2,5. I was like, I smelled it to be sure that it's fuel. He said, it's fuel. I put it in my vehicle. I brought back the gallon. I said, okay, how come? I know that you are not in fuel scarcity. At least this thing wasn't announced. How come you have fuel in the gallon? He said, yesterday when he was coming back from the work, he saw a police station where they were selling. He said he went there, he filled his tank. And something was just bothering him to fill the gallon that was in the vehicle. He said he got from the vehicle. And then now he's coming out with it. I said, Kai, this God must be awesome. When the man left, I sat in my vehicle. I was like, exactly the fuel I need to go and come back to Enugu. That was what he gave to me. And I'm not taking that provision for granted. Congratulations. 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 You know, in the first service, we said God usually made provision ahead of our 